Auto runs where you're not hitting the notes and then sometimes you might chuck a tap in there but I'm struggling to find anything to say if I was an A anything that really sounds worthwhile legato wise any kind of nice simple pattern which could just simply run up and down what? like a legato you know we're not we, you've yeah, you got really nice legato. Legato. you're not picking this hand is free this hand is just doing you know that's it yeah Hand. You want to tap stuff? Well, no, I really suck at legato, and I don't. I've not been able to find many good little runs just to get me going, really. Okay, keep in mind, it's not about the runs. It's, it's about first of all, from legato. If you want to get the technique stronger, you have to sort of strengthen this hand. It has to do with slow twitch and fast twitch reflex muscles in your body. So, slow twitch. I am going to lift this box. Arr, I lifted it. A slow twitch. Uh, a fly lands on you. That's fast twitch. So what you need to do is you need to sort of tap in to your... You find it as funny, aren't you? It's quick and slow. Yeah. <laughs> so slow twitch and fast twitch. Um, you want to sort of get into your fast twitch reflex muscles in your fingers to the point that it's almost like your fingers are just twitching and flying, but you have control of what's going on because you practiced. So one of the ways to do that, there's a few things you could do. Um, you know who Bruce Lee is, yes? Ah! Uh, the Bruce Lee one inch punch. You'd be an inch away from something, you would harness all his energy, and then just bah! And the person would go flying through the wall, next building, through the window, and fly like different country, just yeah. Um, that's what you want to do with your finger. So it sounds silly, but you want to start by doing that. You need to just kind of keep your finger about half an inch away from where you want to press it down. And you want to just sort of just kind of get something invisible that only you feel and know what's going on, going on. And then you just kind of hit it down with everything you've got. If you do it right, for a moment, you should see this white light, like you died for a fraction of a second. And I just, if you do it right, for a, that momentary little microsecond, you should not know where you are. If that doesn't happen, you're not doing it right. Or maybe I'm doing it wrong. But that's what you want to do. But each finger just sort of looks like absolutely nothing, but it's this thing of just sort of taking your energy and blasting it, and you want to start with that. Then, simple, twitchy moves. Uh, start off with first, second, and third finger. First, second, and fourth. First, third, and fourth. Second, third, and fourth. First, second, third, and fourth. Fourth, third, and first. Fourth, second, and first. Third, second, first. Up and down. Uh, and then after a while, the more you do it, you start just getting that, that little silly, crazy, wacky speed that happens in the legato. And then physically, you're ready for whatever. Then you have to work on your brain, because you got to keep in mind, everything with music, with playing guitar, it doesn't happen from your hands. Nothing happens from your hands. Your hands are simply the, the final step in the process. It is where the music leaves you through your hands. The music does not start there, it ends there. The music starts in your heart, it starts in your head, it starts in your spirit. That's where the music starts. And that's the part that we need to exercise and focus on and build. And whatever happens with that, simply goes through you and comes out your hands. So that is the part that you really want to work on. Good. Yes. So, so all the fancy guitar stuff, it doesn't mean anything. It all, it all comes from here and here. So that is the thing. You can work on, on different patterns and stuff like that, but instead, work on the, the focusing of projecting the energy and work on just music. Take it slow. Take it slow at first. And just don't let your hands get too far ahead of your brain. It should be the other way around. You should be thinking ahead of your hands and everything else. And I'm going to show you all some exercises to do that. Some things that can really screw up your mind. Um, Tell you what, why don't I do another song first, and then we're going to talk about warping minds and sort of disconnecting your brain from itself and multitasking and all this stuff and thinking before doing and all of that. Okay, I'm going to play another song for you now. This song, this song is called Guitars Still Suck. Let me get my thing on.
Um, so yeah, yeah, what else, what else? So what were we just talking about? That's right, we were talking about dividing your brain and all kinds of crazy stuff and the exercises you can do to sort of get more into that. All right, so maybe we begin with that. You want to be able to sing and play, you want to be able to throw in a bass line with a melody line and all this stuff. You want to be able to do more than just one linear thing when you're making music. You don't want to just go, uh, That ain't enough. You gotta say, all right, it needs dynamics, and it needs chords, it needs the whole feel. It needs to tell the story of the song, just from one voice. So they're like, all right, Bob will go up there and make some silly noises for five minutes. It's like, all right, so I go on. And I hate it. I hate that crap. Um, that's just not me. I'm not into going up there and, and just all ego, check me out. I like a song. I like being part of a song. I like making songs. I like music. And especially if I'm playing in fucking Guns N' Roses, I'm well aware that people came there to hear Guns N' Roses, not to see me goof off for five minutes. I mean, yeah, I understand, everyone's got to get beer, they got to go to the bathroom, they don't want to miss a G&R song, but I don't want to be the guy that provides that moment. So, <laughs> so, you know, I remember, it was, we were in Lisbon, Portugal, it was like May 2006, we just did a couple of shows, and, you know, 100 emails a day, you know, are you guys going to do this song? Do this song, just say, how come you don't do this one? How come you don't do that one? And everybody wanted the song, Don't Cry. You know, I asked them about it, it's like, no, nah, I still don't want to do that one. It's just some heavy stuff, you know, like, attached to it that it just doesn't want to do. So, I was like, all right. You can still ask it. They want the song, and, and as far as I'm concerned, you put the people before yourself, you give the people what they want. Um, so, so it was, it was 150,000 people staring at me, and I'm up there, whole time just going, Lee, 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 thinking in my head, I feel like such a douche, I feel like such a douche, I feel like such a douche. And I'm like, God, fuck it. And I just started playing the song. I remember hearing someone in my ear saying, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, Don't worry about it. Like my best Jersey voice, voice. I'm like, forget about it. And then people started singing along, and it was beautiful. And that became like, you know, a nice part of the show. Everybody connected. For it. Um, it was cool. Afterwards, after, in the years, he's like, he's like, that was beautiful. That was, that was genius. But to do something like that, you have to be able to think a song and then portray that song in a way that really tells that song, the mood of the song, everything. So, if you want to just pull a song out of your butt in front of a whole bunch of people, and then there, you got to be able to do that. So, it happens a lot in jazz, you get, you know, little bass lines moving in the middle. that much in rock and roll. You got a rhythm guitar player, you got the wig player, and that's pretty much it. Um, but you want to be able to do more than that. You want to be able to put it all together and get that vibe happening and be able to really play a song. So there are many ways to do that. Um, first, we need to start dividing your brain and sort of assigning different tasks to different parts and not think about it, just be able to do it. Uh, start off with rhythm. Okay. I had a song from way back called Lost, where it was a uh, different, you're nodding your head, you know the song. Okay. It kind of went like... What's going on? Just here you go. And then one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So it's divided. 
riding the brain and getting into stuff like that. So if you all had guitars and you're all sitting down and there was room to take them out and everything, we have all the time in the world, I'd say take out your guitars and try this. Going one, one, one on each hand, and then try one and two. Then switch it. Look at your hands, let's not look down. You can't even think about it. You have to talk about other things while this is happening in the background. You go one, two, three, four. You still not you're not thinking about it. Switch it. Hello over there, how are you doing? This is me, nothing.